Hello everyone. We're at the end of the quarter, the end of the year, 2019, but more important, we're at the end of the decade. It's the decade of the 4G smartphone revolution. It may be important to take a moment and go back in time and look at how much we had accomplished as a wireless industry with 4G in, in our, you know, most loved device, inseparable device to smartphone. It really started beginning of the decade. We had four operators, four OEMs. I'll make a comparison later with 5G now. And Verizon Wireless was the operator in the United States that launched 4G together with the Korean operators. And at that time, we had speeds of about 20 megabits per second when 4G launched in the early devices. And what happened since then, it was incredible. If it wasn't uh, for what mobile industry had done with 4G and the ability to bring mobile computer to the palm of our hands with broadband speed, there will be no Uber, there will be no Lyft, there will be no ability to browse the internet, consume video from YouTube and Netflix or mobile devices more than any other device. And the mobile smartphone will not be mankind's largest development platform. It's incredible what the wireless centers had accomplished. And throughout the halfway to the decade, uh, we got to about 1 billion 4G connections, and we're gonna end this year with 4 billion 4G connections. And it's important to put all this in context as we make a comparison where we are with 5G. It, the decade before 4G is a Qualcomm provided division of the smartphone. It was about really 10 years before the launch of 4G that we have the first app store with Brew. We have the first smartphone uh, that was a Palm Pilot combined with a phone, but we needed to take 10 years to develop the technology to make that a reality. Where there's a, a gigahertz processor and a battery power device, the graphics, all of the engines of what is the smartphone SOC Snapdragon today in developed mobile broadband. And we're very proud in the entire decade of 4G to be the first with every new technology and halfway to the year, remember we started out to the decade, we started at 20 megabits about that and we announced by 2016 our first gigabit LTE modem with gigabit speeds in a mobile device. And it's incredible how much the industry had accomplished. At the same time, we, when in the halfway to the decade that we have our gigabit LTE modem, that's we unveil our vision for 5G and our first millimeter wave platform got introduced. And we brought this all to reality at the end of this decade. And we're now setting the industry and us collectively to have one of the biggest wireless opportunity ahead of us especially as 5G, it's not only gonna connect everyone, but everything. As a comparison, we already started with much faster transition to 4G, with much better numbers. As it took 4G halfway to the decade to get to a billion subscribers, we expect to get to one billion connection 5G by 2022. We also believe that as we connect not only everyone, but everything around us. We're gonna have multiple billions of connections, and it's gonna be one of the largest applications of wireless, and it's gonna be the way we're gonna to connect to the internet. We're really looking forward to a decade of success with 5G, with the entire ecosystem being responsible for technologies that will enable 13 trillion of economic value, and also we expect 5G to generate 22 million jobs. It's an incredible opportunity. Again, we're very proud to be leading with this technology and be at the center of the ecosystem that is all about partnerships and enabling other companies. We said many times, we don't believe one company can do it all, but it's just the power of partnership and collaboration of the Qualcomm business model that had allowed us to launch 5G one year ahead of the schedule, and we have one of the greatest opportunities for our company in this new decade, which will start 2020. We are ready to scale 5G in 2020. It's going to be great for wireless, and I look forward to even more cooperation. Thank you very much, happy holidays, and I talk to you next quarter.